What's up, all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net, coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada, as I do Monday through Friday, bringing you junk journal content. So if that is what you're into, please do hit that subscribe button and give me a little thumbs up that lets me know that you care. I pretty much post a new video every single day. So you guys, today what I'm doing tonight, what is happening, is I'm going to be doing some of my usual embellishments. Only now they're going to be Christmas themed. I'm trying to bring out uh, where's my thing of embellishments. I can show you where I've made these in the past. Where did they go? They're there. So um, <clears throat> I've made these in the past. Uh, where did they go? Some of them, well, these are what they look like before. Um, but they look like this, and then I make some of them into banners. So I pretty much prepped a bunch of strips, and I'm going to do a bunch of uh, embellishments. For tonight, though, we are going to do the um, word embellishments. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Sorry about all the noises. <laughs> okay, so I have my um, Christmas vocabulary word. Um, for my printables, I did leave the link um, below. I mean, in the description box below, but I will also leave the link here um, on the live. Let me get the link. Um, basically, with this printable, it prints over 50 vocabulary words that you can use in your embellishments for your junk journals for Christmas. Um, they are you can print them out smaller than they are, or bigger. Um, this is the size that they are normally when you print them out. And then here I printed out two pages on one. And so they just get a little bit smaller. <laughs> they get a little bit tinier. But this is the same printable. You only pay one price and you can print them out <laughs> different sizes. So I'm going to be working, I'm going to be doing some bigger and some smaller because some of these are, uh, some of these strips are actually really small, so they will have to use the um, small ones. So normally I don't actually make long strips like this. I actually normally make four inch strips. And so it's going to be a little bit of an extra step for me because I just didn't want to rip them up into four inch pieces like I normally would. But anyways, so all I'm going to do, I have my um, sewing machine here loaded to um, with some very, very like a sea, almost like a seafoam green, very, very light thread. Not doing anything fancy. Hi, Crafting Mamas. Hey, Beverly, how are you? Thank y'all for joining me. I'm going to get a little bit closer in here so you can get this sweet sewing machine action. <laughs> this sweet action going on up here. Because, of course, I don't glue these together. I sew them on. <clears throat> and I am going to... Oops. Hang on. I just... I thought I was going to take off some lint, and I took off some lint with oil on it. <laughs> I'm just like, ew, gross, gross, gross. Anyways, so I'm just gonna use a um, straight stitch. I'm gonna make it a little bit longer than normal. And I'm just gonna sew that through like that. Now I do want the long strings, which is why I'm cutting it right now instead of continuing on with my sewing. So that's going to be the little embellishment basically right there. And then I am going to, I can put these on tags or I can just glue them as they are onto um, my page, really. They would look really cute. Right on the page, just glued on. It says eggnog on there. And Monique, what's up, Monique? Let's keep it going. I'm going to do a little bit of a pink Christmas theme in, theme in my shop. I did do a video recently where I showed off 
um, the pink Christmas stuff I have so far on my shelf. I am going to be designing more. So it's just going to keep on growing. But for now, I have these. This is new, these um, Christmas words. Again, I could cut it a little bit smaller so it's kind of equal on both sides here. I just want the thread, so that's why I'm, I'm doing it this way. Okay. I'm just going to cut this part off right here because I don't want this showing. Okay, that's better. So I got to get ready for Christmas. Even though I have like 10, ten junk journals I haven't finished. But it's Christmas time. I don't know exactly how many I'll get done, but I can do embellishments. I don't know about making new journals. Because my hands are kind of shot right now, as much as I would like to. This is pretty much as much activity as I can handle. <laughs> this right here but that's okay I can get a lot of these done I obviously have I obviously I always make way more than, <laughs> than they really need so I always end up selling some Darlene what's up Darlene okay, let's even this out here because I don't like it Ooh, that was not even straight that's not straight none of this is going to be straight okay whatever I'm going to cut down the whole thing Try to get like a straight line cut there. It's just not going to happen. Right. Two Darlene's in the house. <laughs> Hi, the other Darlene. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh my goodness, my eyes are crooked tonight. I cannot cut straight <laughs> to save my life. I cannot. So apparently it's impossible. It's too many threads, but we'll fix it later. Okay. Got my big words right here. Again, I'm just sewing these on with a straight stitch. <laughs> And I'm using a really, really light colored stitch. So it kind of just blends in. You can't really even see it, but it's working for me. Like it really is. See, and we are working through last year's Christmas paper. Um, so never finished it. So I'm trying to use up as much as I can. So here we go. See, that's too long. See, that's better. That makes me happy. So these are all nice and glittery. Here's one that's oddly shaped, but it's all good. That's fine. Oddly shaped ones are fine. <laughs> I finally had the chance to watch her live video. Hey! Welcome. I think I might do two lines with the ones that are bigger. I think I might need more like two. Hang on, let me do that again. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I'll leave it to two. I think I did at one point, I did three. Let's see. This makes me um, think that I should have already learned to use the double needle um, in my sewing machine, but I have not. <laughs> I don't know why it scares me. It really should not. It's just like whatever, but, but it's, like I said, normally I have these um, backgrounds here cut to four inches. But didn't do it this time. So I'm dealing with the long strip here. Let me just cut this because it'll be easier to deal with. Now, okay. Okay, here we go. Ooh. 
What are you gonna snap one? What do you mean you're gonna snap one? What are you doing? What are you missing? Hi, JJ. I just saw JJ. Hello. Keep everything in sandwich bags, you guys. I don't know what it is with me. I just love sandwich bags. <laughs> I just keep reusing the same sandwich bags over and over. I have a bucket. I have a bucket of sandwich bags. <laughs> and they're all different sizes, and I can just pull it out, pick the ones I need, and then I put them back in there when I am done with whatever was in the bag. It's just, it's great. It's a great system. The two needles. Yeah, I need to use it because I keep not using it. And it's like, I really need to use it. And it's there. It came with my sewing machine. I don't even need to like buy anything extra or anything like that. I just have to like actually like <laughs> learn, look up a video on how to do it. It's probably not that hard. But I like to make things seem scary in my head. <laughs> okay, let's cut this part right here. Can't save these. There we go. Yeah, it looks cute with three even. Can't really see them. Like when it's far away, you can just see the type. Which is really cool. Oh, JJ with Joy. It's not JJ. Your name is Joy. Got it. I just got it. <laughs> I'm a little slow. Sorry. I'm a little. I'm a little bit slow. Joy, Joy, you know I can't say that. I don't know. I don't know French, but I included that one in there. I don't know why. Oh, this little. Is that gonna be too big? Because this seems too small. So you know what? Let's skip that one. Because I'm definitely going to use these strips for other things also. So it's okay if I don't even this out. My head is making like pulling this out. Okay, that one works better with this. Just add another spool of thread and thread both needles, that's all. If I just watch a video, like one video doing it, I'll, I'll probably get it, you know what I mean? <laughs> I just have to watch it. Maybe I'm just going to do one from each of the strips and then I can have different colors. I'm, like I said, I'm going to make lots of embellishments from these. So I think like instead of continuing on with this strip, I'm just going to use one of them and then move on to the next type. So that I can have a variety of each type of embellishment. Ha ha. Now, I always make like an ungodly amount of embellishment. <laughs> so I will for sure um, be selling some. I don't know why, I just like to make a lot of embellishments. It's just fun. Your machine looks like mine. Let's see, is it yours? I have the Brothers Project Runway. I always used to say it and then I stopped saying it. <laughs> Limited edition CE1125PRW. Hey, Letitia, what up? Okay, we're back. We're back. The bells, the bells. Okay, so like that, that strip off to the side. They are a nice little bunch over there. I like to, so I can show them off just a tiny bit. Okay, we're on to the next strip. 
And is this strip too, this might be too small for this. Mm. Yeah, it is. Is it too big for this one? But yes, it is. So we're going to skip that one. Now this one is good enough for the big one. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh, I'm loving the glitter paper. Mine didn't say Project Runway, but it's about to say. Brother, yeah, they all have them. I don't know what in particular makes this one a Project Runway, other than it says Project Runway. It's not like they use these on the show. <laughs> He did not use these on Project Runway. I was watching. I was watching real close on Project Runway. It's one of my favorite shows ever. Okay, so now we go on to the next strip, which I think is going to be for. No. Is it too big for this? I feel like it's too big for that. So we'll move on from that one. Let's see. Got more scraps. I could have used a different color. Now that I see that I'm going like one above and then one below, maybe I'd be okay if I used red thread. I don't know about on the small one. But on the big one, I think I can use red thread. I'm trying to make it more Christmassy. Let me, do I have red bobbins? Do I have it? Sometimes just not having the bobbin makes you not want to do things. <laughs> I do have one red bobbin. Just one. Oh my gosh, it's so stressful. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm going to use it. Because I like red. I'm trying to add more color on here. I just feel like it's too, I don't know. It's not colorful enough for me. I need like red, red glitter. It'll go with all these papers. It'll look, sorry, I touched the camera. It'll look good. Okay, so got the bobbin. That's why I have a million bobbin. I'm supposed to have them ready to go. And look at me, I don't. <laughs> So now you know the truth. I'm not always like, sorry. They sold them on HSN. Mine came from Walmart. I brought mine from Walmart too. I did, I did buy mine from Walmart. I have plenty of red thread. Let's put it on. Right here, we're going. <sighs> Something's not right. Oh, let me sit down. Let me sit down. <laughs> okay. One second. I'm having sewing machine issues. There we go. Okay. 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 Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay. We're back. I was prepared for the other color, but this color I was not so prepared for. I was hoping it'd have more color because the green thread underneath, but it's not showing up when I put the words on top. So I'm going to add a little bit more color. We're going to be a little bit more festive. And because I've been sewing on top and underneath the word, does it doesn't really matter about the make a new bobbin soon. Yes, I'm feeling this is a little bit more festive with the red thread. I'm loving it. Definitely 
definitely more festive. Okay, I'm just gonna continue on with that then. I love the idea you did with those strips because I have tons, can to sew some, yes. And you can, I started off making these strips and I didn't really know what I was gonna use them for. But then honestly, you find so many uses for them, it's great. <laughs> And I use them. I made some like a lot a while ago. And I just kept working off of those until I was literally done with them. But I just kept working off that stash. Yes, it looks much better with the red. Yep, that just made me happy. y'all are interested in checking out the vocabulary word set here is the link one second oh i'm excited i'm gonna go to um ikea soon i gotta buy um some kalax bookcases i think they're bookcases um, I gotta buy some Kalex products. <laughs> Cause the one I bought, I bought almost like a Kalex knockoff. You know, the, the nine drawer cubby is the one that I'm talking about, the nine drawer Kalex. Um, I bought some like off brand off on Amazon and they're just not as good as I thought they would be. Which, you know, my bad for ordering off-brand <laughs> Ikea knockoff brand um, furniture. It's just not very strong. Check online before you go. Yes, I know. I Last time I was ready to go and get it, I looked it up online because I'm like, let me see. So I can just go pick it up, you know, in the aisle and take it home. I don't have to go around looking for the number. So I looked it up and it was freaking out of stock. And it came back in stock. And now I got to, I guess, check for it before I go get it again. Because <laughs> I'm not ready to go get it now. <sighs> Only because my husband's going to put it together. So I told him, you know, whenever you feel like putting it together, let me know and we'll go. <laughs> I'm not putting that together. It's too much. It's just too stressful. <laughs> that looks so much better with red. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just love it. Have to go out early in the morning. That's a good idea. I heard they're doing like a really cheap uh, flat fee or a fee for um, curbside pickup. That's just what I heard. But I don't know if it's true in here. I heard it depends. They probably want to encourage more curbside pickup and more sales, you know what I mean? Saw no curbside at our store. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Gosh darn it. I still want to go to Ikea. I definitely don't want to go on the weekend because I know they're crazy on the weekend. They love to go crazy on the weekend. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, that looks cute. And of course, I cut all these out um, with my scanning cut. You could cut them out by hand if you want to have some fun. <laughs> With that, we could. Which was weird because I kind of bought the same knockoff thing, like nine cubby system from Walmart before. And um, that one's doing just fine. It doesn't wobble. The This one here wobbles. And you know, I probably wouldn't care because it doesn't really um, hold anything heavy. However, my cat likes to sit on top of it 
and it's like right next to his cat tower. So sometimes he'll jump from <laughs> from it to his cat tower, which makes it kind of wobble. It's like oh, I can tell it's unstable. <laughs> I can tell. Just the hi, Chris. Just a little hello to wish you a good day or night. I don't know. See you on replay night tonight. Thanks for stopping by, girl. Thanks for saying hi. Okay, so here's that. And so if my cat, like, wasn't on it all the time, I wouldn't care. But my cat is on it all the time. up a little bit but they look so cute i love this um scrap of paper again it's from last year i think it's still over i bought it at hobby lobby so they still have it at hobby lobby i checked recently they still have it really cute um christmas paper <clears throat> I keep seeing them for sale on Facebook and on Opera. I don't know. I'll just go buy it. They only want like $10 less than what Ikea charges. I was like, I <laughs> I'd rather just buy it from Ikea. Freight or like sixty dollars. Yeah, it costs sixty dollars though. What I want in this, and I can't. I don't have any big truck or any sort of way to have one that's already assembled. <laughs> like I don't, have, I don't have a truck to deliver it to me. That's the other thing. Yes, the red thread really stands out real cute. Good night, Beverly. Oh, you're getting the smaller one. I'm getting, I'm going to get two nine by nines. I'm just really looking around my craft room and I really would like everything to match. Not that it really matters. It really does not matter if my stuff matches or not. I'm, the, I'm literally the only one that, <laughs> that steps foot in my craft room. But I would just, it would be nice. <laughs> it would just be nice if they all matched. But then again, I would have no idea what system to go with or anything like that. <sighs> I need to take some like interior design courses here and there or something. I'm just not good at just like interior design. I'm not good at it. And since I'm not good at it, I completely stay away from it. Like, I don't decorate it. <laughs> yeah, that's why I have not gotten them. Yes, because I can't make up on my mind as to what I want. I know what I want behind me because I've been working, you know, with my junk journals. And the system behind me works good. So I definitely want the 9 by 9 cubby. Um... Kalax, but I'm going to have to figure out what I want for the rest of my room. Okay, so here's this one. Again, I'm using, I have a bunch of different strips here, and I'm basically taking one word, sewing it on, and moving on to the next strip, so I have a nice big, like, collection of strips, so that's what I'm doing. That's what you see me doing all over here. And most strips, like this one, is two sizes. Finally, we have a small strip for these small words. I have one Alex store. I like it. I don't know if I need more than, than one, honestly. I don't like things in drawers. I like things in um, bookcases and shelves. 
I don't like things like put away. I like everything in my face, so I'm like, oh my god, I have so much stuff. <laughs> and I'm like, no. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna do two on here. Oh wait, my thread came off. My thread came off. Back. Okay. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Here we go. There. Like I said, I have one Alex drawer. If it's all my stuff perfectly and I have not expanded. So I don't need any more Alex drawers, but I do like the one I have. I would be a mess if I didn't have it. <laughs> I would be. It would be a mess in here. It holds all my little things. All the little tiny things I have. This one might look a little bit better in the white thread. <laughs> but whatever, we're experimenting. It's all good. I would not mind if I just had like my one wall that I have all my stuff on. If I had like matching Billy bookcases, I'd be happy with that. Like a whole wall of matching black Billy Billy bookcases. I only have three tools and glitter in the drawers. I have three not all over stuff I like to see. I have something similar to the Kalax. I don't know if the Kalax would would help me with my junk journal stuff. The the Alex drawers basically hold all my tools. Like literally all my tools. Yeah. All my tools are in my Alex drawer. And then like my stuff. <laughs> the stuff that I used to create is all in different types of shelves. I would just like them all to match. That's all. I just want them all to match. I just want to be fancy. I'm just kidding. I'm not fancy, but I would like to be. <laughs> I would like to be fancy one day. <laughs> Let's see this one. So tomorrow, I'll be making a different type of uh, embellishment with these strips. I think I might see, okay, that was three. I might see if I can do some with uh, stamps. Because they look really cute with uh, vintage stamps on them. So I'd like to have a nice stash of those. The red thread, yes, 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 yes. Ah, my thread keeps coming off. Don't know why. I just want somebody to organize all of mine. No, it took it literally took me like six months to organize my craft room. <laughs> like it literally took me six months. What is the freaking issue here? Hang on. Oh my god. This thread was like so hard to pull and it's not supposed to be hard to pull, right? It's not. So hang on. I don't know what the issue was. Okay. There we go. To pay off a couple credit cards before I can get my IKEA dream. <laughs> oh yeah, they offered me an IKEA credit card, but I didn't um, finish the application. I think. <laughs> I 
I don't think it would have been enough to do much. It was only like 1,500. Might have been enough for a wall of something. Okay, okay, let's keep on, let's keep on going. <clears throat> Here we go. I have about 20 pieces of furniture and large bin drawers all together. It's nice. Yeah, I think I've seen your wall. <laughs> your, your wall of organization. I just moved in here, so I have time to plan things out. <laughs> I just, you know, wanted to move in here, get in my little craft room, get in my little groove, and then kind of after that decide how is my workflow, how, what is easier, what have, what have I moved around since the beginning. So now if I want to make anything permanent, I don't regret it because, oh, I don't work like that anymore. You know what I mean? For right now, it works. For right now, it just works. So I'm hoping it stays this way and then I don't have to regret anything later on. You know? I'm gonna see what it was like living and working in the space. We need a play date setting up the room for four extra seating area. I am still not the freaking house girl. I'm terrible. I'm the worst. But that sounds like fun. <laughs> when we're all, I don't even know. I don't even, I have not gone to many places. <laughs> but I'm trying to get a little bit comfortable with it. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm feeling a little bit better. It's still very cautious. You know what I mean? Like I said, like I would have been cool with a lot of things going on, but then like my parents got sick and I was just like, oh, I did not expect that. That was a while ago. That was a while ago. Yeah, in February would be cool, maybe. Yeah. That's when they said everything. They said maybe oh gosh. They said next year. <laughs> How terrible. It's 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 honestly, it's so weird because, like, I'm at my house all the time. Like, I really only leave if I want to, like, go grocery shopping or um, if I want to go to drive through. And <laughs> you would think, like, I'd be happy to get out of the house. There's been a couple times where I've been turned on to the craft shops or into um, gift shops. And it's just, like, you would think I'm happy to get out, but I just, like, want to get home. <laughs> I'm so weird. It's really shaking me up. Let's see here. There we go. Put this in here, but for sure. I know we were meeting to before and everything it just everything happened so fast. Gingerbread house and I have a nice little stash of these going on and because I've only been using like one of the strips I have a nice variety I'm very happy with the outcome here I'm very much happy that I switched over to the red thread I think they just look a lot more festive in the red thread my mom my grandma my fiance and all, my uncle all got it so I'm right there with you. I have two friends who used to organize me every now and then, but both passed away. Probably my fault. Girl, what? Darling, no. I want to laugh, but also it's kind of sad. <laughs> but also you made the joke. <laughs> but I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> uh, girl. Monique. I can't believe that all those people got it. Oh my gosh. I thought I was like the odd one out with just my parents. Oh my gosh. I'm, I hope everybody got better. They love my sense of humor. <laughs> and so do we, darling. So <laughs> oh, I was going to say, my mom and dad, no. <laughs> 
What happened? What even happened? Hang on. Why did that not so? Because that makes no sense. Hang on. What is happening? What is what is happening? Okay, I don't know why that didn't so. That's weird. Very strange. It was from one visit. They are all doing good. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? See, I, I'm so like nervous about my mom because she's out in Mexico. And then my dad's, you know, working. He doesn't work around people, but still, it's like, oh my god. And like I said, I don't even know if I already had it because I went through that like, okay, I went through like basically a week of almost having all the symptoms minus like all the crazy ones. Well, basically, I didn't have all the symptoms. I have headaches uh, every day for like a week, solid week. Um, I had lost my appetite and food didn't really taste good and I couldn't really smell. And so all that happened for about a week. And then the second week, I, after I started to pop in Mexican antibiotics, I was good. Like, literally two days after taking um, Mexican antibiotics, I was, like, back to almost, not almost normal, but I was, like, not having headaches. So I still really don't for real know what I had. Um, let's see. Joy says... How long does it take to receive my download and how does it complete? So your download should, you should be um, receiving a link to your email right after you place your order. So whatever email you use to place your order, you could also check out um, etsy.com backslash your backslash purchases. Let me put that on your link on, on the screen. Um, Joy, you can click it and try if this link will work for you. Um, and it's it's associated to everybody's um, account. So if you click on this link, it's just going to show you your own purchases on Etsy. So try this right here. Joy, if this doesn't work, um, go ahead and contact me on Etsy and I can send you your order. Um, but try that link first. I had to get a COVID test before my eye surgery. Oh, yeah, that you're gonna be around for people. I guess it's just every building is different. My, I don't think my mom had to for her surgery, and we don't know where she got it from. I don't know if what I had was COVID. I don't know if I gave it to her because honestly, I was the one that had that first. I was the first one to have headaches and all that stuff, and she was taking care of me. Well, I was supposed to be taking care of her. <laughs> The second week of me taking care of her is when I started feeling bad. And I had basically stayed home. I had basically stayed home. Um, and so I felt like I should not have had it. So I, I, just don't, I just really don't know. And now my mom's in Mexico. My grandma's good. They said her test was negative. Um... And so she just has pneumonia and she's getting over it. Or so she says. So my mom says she's getting better. So I talked to her the other day, my grandma. I see Donna, it's driving me crazy. Oh no. I <laughs> would drive anybody crazy. Haircut here, they're a little bit crazy. Looks so cute with the glitter paper. I love it. Oh, it finally came. Yay, Joy. Okay, cool. Because <laughs> sometimes um, people make like a purchase and they don't realize what email they used. I don't think my website asks you to use an email. So sometimes people like, I don't even know how Etsy determines what email gets used if none is entered. They figure it out. <laughs> okay, so this 
And I'm also going to use these words. I'm going to come out with the, I decided I'm going to come out with a new um, set of, uh, oh, that's the bobbin running out. I decided I'm going to come out with a new set of Christmas die cuts. They're going to be pink Christmas die cuts, and they are actually, because um, I didn't have time to make new ones because of my hands and stuff, um, I decided to color last uh, color the last um, the set of Christmas die cuts that I have now. I'm going to color them pink, and then they'll be pink Christmas themed at least, so that's what I could do. So they won't be any new shapes, but they will be all new colors, so we'll definitely still go with the pink. Uh, Christmas theme of things. Give me one second. I have to make another bobbin. I still have another like 15 minutes of show to do. So I'm going to make another bobbin. I really need to have more bobbins to out. Oh my gosh. I love that I can cut in things with my skin and cut. Yes. I love my skin and cut. <laughs> I have to go sometimes a very, very large extra step to make sure things uh, cut out with the skin and cut. And so this new um, Christmas set will also uh, cut out with your scan and cut Darlene. You'll love it. You will love it. I just got to um, design it and make it. <laughs> but I uh, can already tell you, you will love it. Let's see here. There's the scan and cut just makes life is so much better. I love it. Had it for a year, like literally years. I think I saw it come up on my Facebook page the other day. I think it's been like five years that I've had this scatting cut, which is crazy. Yeah, I love my scatting cut. Love it, love it, love it. There's that one. It's a little bit messed up, but that's okay. It's a junk journal and we love it. So again, I might put these um, just on the page itself. I might put them, um, I might put an embellishment behind it. I might put these on a card and so around. There's a lot of things that I can do with these um, vocabulary words and these glitter strips to decorate my holiday journals, which you'll see me do here on my channel later on. I think I might do like single signature Christmas journals. I think that I could handle. I don't think I can handle my old, my regular hardcover journals. So that might be something that I do instead. But it should still work out. I actually got the email, but the link says, uh oh, I think I may be slow internet. I will get here after. Yeah, it should not. I hope it, it's it's uh, not on our end. But you let me know if it doesn't work out for you. I can um, send it to you to your email or via Etsy itself messaging. Okay, so that works. These look so cute. So again, you can print these out um, at their regular size as they come, and this is what you'll get right here. This size right here. Or you can um, do like me, and I sometimes print them out two pages on one, and uh, they'll come out like uh, they come out like this, so really small and tight. So it just depends on the embellishment that I'm doing, which which size of words that it is that I use. So gotta love that. Gotta love that about digitals. Now it seems like I have a bunch of shorter strips here to work with, but. That's okay, we'll come up with some new embellishments to use those on tomorrow. 
and the let the following days. I'm just in the holiday spirit, y'all. It's just, I'm feeling it. I'm trying not. <laughs> I'm trying to get this heat, <laughs> this heat out of here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to feel like everybody else, like it's getting colder when it's not here. Ooh, it's 100 degrees. It's so cold. <laughs> it's so cold. Uh, my puzzles does print and cut, but it is actually, oh. No. Let's see here. Oh my gosh, y'all, before I go, I have to show <laughs> I have to show you. Okay, so I had my <laughs> I have a Sizzix, right? And um, I had my Sizzix for a long time also. I had it for a while, probably over five years also. Um and <laughs> and I don't even know how it happened. Okay, so I normally cut thin thin die cuts is normally what I cut. So I always have to use this plate right here, right? So I think what happened was that I think I would even use this when I would use the thicker ones, or I don't know at how at what point this happened. If you guys can see the jagged edge here, it's basically like a spot that's like flat right here and it's not supposed it's not supposed this is not supposed to have a lip on it it's supposed to look like this nice and straight but this has almost like a lip like you could see it right here somehow the plastic kept getting squeezed and I don't know what happened and it literally made like a shelf and indentation and this made it, <laughs> it made it so hard to cut out stuff and I bought a new one, and now it cuts out like butter. <laughs> but I was like, oh, so this is the problem. I just didn't even know. I honestly didn't notice. And when I noticed, it kept working. So I was like, well, I guess I'll just keep using this. But it got really hard. It got, like, exponentially harder to use over time. And I was like, finally, like, Daisy, just buy it. <laughs> I think it was under, like, $20. I was like, just, oh, my God, Daisy, stop. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Move to MN. Is that Montana or Minnesota? I'm sorry, I'm uneducated. <laughs> We're in the 30s last week, and I love it. I don't know about that. I I, I don't know. Maybe I just see the cold, the really really cold. I don't like cold. I don't like cold. I'd rather be in the heat. <laughs> cold is just not for me. Like the actual cold. Las Vegas cold is really not cold. I think the lowest it gets here is 40 degrees at night. That's the lowest it gets ever. So I have experienced a little bit of cold, like when we go up to the mountains. Like when I have family that comes over uh, during the winter time, <laughs> they will always want to go up to the mountains. So whenever I go up there, it, you know, there's snow. I don't, I can't recall exactly how cold it gets up there. Um, but cold enough to snow. And uh, I really don't like it. <laughs> After five minutes of standing in the cold, I'm like, okay, this is cool. Let's go now. Let's go back home because it's cold. I really don't like the cold. I really like actual cold, cold. No, I just can't. I'm just not here for it. <laughs> Minnesota. Okay, I thought it was one or the other. I'm like, maybe it's me. Oh my god, like pop quiz. Does it get really in the 30s, Monique? Are you serious? I don't feel. I think I remember just last year it was all 40s because I was very um, wary of my succulents and they can't, I think, under 40 degrees or something like that. You have to put them inside. And I kept checking last year and it didn't get under 40. At night, I checked, I checked. I have so many guys I need to use, like all my, right? Yeah, I know. I know, hopefully I'll give you some inspiration. I'm gonna use some uh, to make embellishments as well. I am getting ready because I am going to be selling the glitter um, die cuts I, that I use to make my embellishments. I will have them up in my shop, so I'm getting ready making those and um, I will have 
I will be making some embellishments out of my die cuts. So if you've been waiting to see how to use die cuts in your embellishments, I will have that coming up. Coming up later on this season. <laughs> coming up at the end of the episode. We get it all in Texas. Oh no. Ah, I don't like Texas. I like Texas. I don't like Texas's weather at all. <laughs> I don't, can't handle it. I cannot handle it. I can't. I'm still traumatized from the last time I went. <laughs> I am just not a humidity type of person. I'm just not. Just don't. I don't want to. But I know. I've heard y'all get snow sometimes. That sounds crazy. <laughs> that sounds insane. And also, Texas is pretty much like half the whole country. So, yeah, you guys have all the weather. <laughs> you guys would have all the weather. You hog all the state slams. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I love Texas. I, I, like, I love Texas, obviously, because I love King of the Hill. <laughs> Sorry. Terrible analogy. I'm not cultured at all. But I love King of the Hill. So, I, like, I'm vicariously loving Texas. Because, <laughs> because that's where King of the Hill is from. So I freaking love it. When I went, it was just like, honestly, it was like another world. We don't like the hot weather. We don't, we usually don't get a spring. <laughs> um, what I thought was just funny in Texas, I couldn't get over it, was that like the Walmart had like the Texas flag and like the American flag. I'm not used to that. I'm not used to my Walmart being so patriotic, let alone patriotic about my about the state. That just would never ever happen here. <laughs> and another thing I noticed is that Texas, like they really care about their elementary schools and I guess their high schools are like a big deal because the Walmart also had signs about the local high school. Like each Walmart had a different high school like name on it like over the like the bathrooms and the like cashier area it had like a high school name on it and i was like what is happening i've never seen a walmart so into their communities like ever i've not like i've never experienced this and then there was like texas pillows i couldn't get over because <laughs> i'll tell you what i'll tell you what you will not go to a walmart here in nevada and see Nevada flex. <laughs> that just doesn't happen. Y'all really love Texas. I love it. I love it. Let's see. Monique says, I may be where it gets colder. When I was in Summerlin, I got down to the high 20s. Oh, no. That's too much. We have about five, <laughs> five high schools in Waco. Okay, you guys. I am done with this today, with the video today. I have made my nice little pile of embellishments for this type. I make a bunch of different types of embellishments. So now it's time to make them all a Christmas theme. So I hope you guys join me tomorrow for some more Christmas embellishment fun uh, with these strips. So get all your strips sewn up so you can follow along and make all the different types of embellishments that I make with them. So you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you guys for keeping me company and chatting with me. I will see y'all tomorrow. Check out my shop for these uh, vintage uh, vocabulary Christmas words. <laughs> thank you guys. Bye.